What do you think has happened to these poor plants? These plants have nutrient deficiencies. They have not been receiving enough of the micronutrients needed for growth. Humans can also suffer deficiency diseases in malnutrition. Watch this video to find out more. Where do plants get their food from? Remember they are autotrophic, which means plants make their own food through the process of photosynthesis. You can learn more about photosynthesis in this video. In order to make all of the macromolecules, the plant needs to obtain some other elements from the soil. For example, nitrogen is needed to make protein. Plant A has not obtained enough nitrogen, which it should get by absorbing nitrate ions from the soil. As you know, nitrogen is needed to make protein. So without this element, the plant will have stunted growth. The older leaves will be yellow and sometimes shriveled. Take a look at poor plant B. This plant has a magnesium deficiency. As you can see, it is yellow. This is because magnesium is needed to make chlorophyll, the green pigment that absorbs light in chloroplasts. As this plant does not have enough chlorophyll, its growth will be limited as it will do less photosynthesis. Now let's look at plants C and D. They are also both suffering from nutrient deficiencies. Why don't you pause the video here and write down any differences you see between them? Plant C had a potassium deficiency. The older leaves are yellow, but the veins remain green. The plant is also not growing properly. Potassium is needed for growth and for the plant's immune system. Plant D has a phosphate deficiency. The older leaves are darker green and some have fallen off. Sometimes the veins become purple and the plant's growth has also been stunted. This is because Phosphorus is involved in energy transfer, so the whole plant won't grow correctly, including the roots. Nutrient availability is of crucial importance for farmers, as plants without all of the nutrients they need will grow slower and produce smaller yields like less fruit. Hydroponics is a new type of agriculture where plants are not grown in soil. Instead, their roots are suspended in water with nutrients. This way, the farmer has much more control over the minerals in the solution the plants grow in. In traditional farming, where crops are grown in soil, the farmer may use crop rotation, where they change the crop grown in a field every year or two as different crops have different nutrient requirements. They may also add fertilizers to the soil. These may be artificial fertilizers, which are called NPK, referring to the nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium they contain. Natural fertilizers may include human or animal waste, like horse manure or slurry from cattle farms. The feces and urine contain many of the nutrients needed for growth. You can learn more about farming in this video. So in this video, you have learned about which nutrients plants require and what happens to them if they do not receive enough. You have also heard about how and why these minerals impact farming. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. Comment below if you have any questions. Why not check out our Fuseco app as well? Until next time.